Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I wanted to make a quick video on how I make water kefir. Um, it's super simple. It's uh, It just takes a little bit of time, but I figure, you know, a lot of people are under quarantine right now. Uh, it's a perfect time to kind of take control of your health. This stuff is very good for your gut floor, which is very good for your immune system. If you have a healthy gut, you have a healthy immune system. If you have a healthy immune system, you're healthy. So, um, yeah, quick tutorial on how I make this. This is kind of the end product here. Uh, so this has been through the second fermentation. You can choose to not do a second fermentation. It's totally up to you. Uh, if you want it to taste really fruity and delicious and carbonated like a sparkling water, highly recommend it. Um, so, yeah, it's naturally carbonated and it's delicious. So first things first. This is about 110 ounces. So for each quarter cup of kefir grains, um, you need a quarter cup of sugar, preferably raw organic sugar. So let me show you what I do to filter this out. So all this liquid in here has been fermented for about two days. It takes about two to three days, depending on the temperature. Um, so I just use some cheesecloth and a bowl, just put a little rubber band around that. And so this is so you can collect the kefir grains and separate the liquid. So just every two days. I do this. I do store this near something warm. I have a distiller and it emits a lot of heat. So I put that um, right near there and it definitely ferments a little bit faster. Um, so this bowl isn't big enough, obviously. So I'm going to just pour some in here and get ready for the second fermentation with that. All right, so this is all the fermented sugar water. So the kefir grains, they're alive. It's good bacteria. And they eat the carbohydrates. So the sugars, they're converting the sugars into um, really good probiotics, really good bacteria. So you want to fill this up because I'm doing the second fermentation. If you don't want to do a second fermentation, that's totally fine. You can fill it up all the way, put it in the fridge, drink it right now. It's up to you. Um, you can definitely drink it right now. But I like the fruitiness, so you're going to fill it up to about there. You want to leave a few inches from the top so you have room to put the fruit juice. So I'm going to just put that aside and start filling up the other one. This is my other bowl, my other jar. Definitely have a lot of liquid here. When I first started out, um, I only had a quarter cup of kefir grains, and that produced about 32 ounces of water. But they do expand, and they pretty much double, if not four times the amount. I'm going to let that drain. I ended up dehydrating some of the kefir grains, so this is what um, I ended up producing, which is an insane amount. It definitely more than doubled, maybe like quadrupled. <laughs> It's insane. So if anyone wants any kefir grains, I definitely have some on hand if you want to make your own kefir. Okay, so going to let that drain. I'll show you what that looks like. So yeah, they're just, they look like grains. They're kind of weird looking, um, but you can see there's a bunch of it. I have about a more than a cup here. Um, I think it's expanding a bit more. It gets to a point where it, it produces a lot and then it kind of hits a plateau. But yeah, that's, that's what that looks like. All right, clean the jar. I'm going to fill it right back up. So you want to use a plastic measuring cup. I have a quarter cup here. You never want to use metal on anything that's being fermented. Uh, I can't remember exactly why, but it definitely messes with the process. 
Um, it could damage the, the good bacteria in here. So you want to just use something plastic or wooden or anything that's not metal. So I'm just measuring out my four quarter cups. So I got a full cup here because if I do have more, I'm going to end up just kind of preserving it. Or you can put it in with your plants. Uh, if you have a compost, um, you can freeze them. You can dehydrate them. They definitely don't go to waste. All right, so I have about a quarter cup here. I mean, um, a full cup. I have a little bit left over, but I'm going to just go ahead and put that in my plant because they like it. And a lot of good nutrients in there. All right, so I cleaned off the cheesecloth. And I just usually let it hang to dry for the next time. So this fermented liquid, we're going to just finish filling up these jars. Okay, so while that's um, while we're doing that, we want to pour some water. You want to make sure you do not use tap water. So this is all the kefir grains in the jar. I have a full quarter cup. Um, I do distill my own water, so this is what I'm using. It does like spring water a bit better, um, but I don't have any spring water right now. I always just every maybe every other fermentation, I'll add a little bit of baking soda to give some minerals to the kefir grains to keep them healthy. So you're just going to put some water in here and you want to let them sit for about 15, 20 minutes or so, just so they can kind of readjust to the pH of that water. Um, and then it'll be ready for the next fermentation. So in the meantime, I am going to work on these. So I'm going to do the second fermentation for these. And the fruit juice that I have is this one here. I get them from Joblot and they're all organic. Um, not from concentrate. So I have a nice antioxidant force. It's got pomegranate, blueberries, cherries, grape, lots of good stuff in here. As soon as I can open this up. So make sure you shake it up and then you're going to fill the rest with the juice. So these guys are ready to go. So I'm going to put these by the water distiller so it can start fermenting. All right, so our kefir grains have been sitting in the distilled water for about 20 minutes now. And I'm going to start melting the sugar. So you want to make sure your sugar is fully melted. So I have about four cups of kefir grains in there. So I'm going to do four, I'm sorry, four quarter cups. So I'm going to do four quarter cups of sugar as well. I'm just using Florida crystals, um, pretty much turbinado. All right, so I just boiled some water over here. And I'm going to use this to melt the sugar. Stir it out. All right, so all the sugar is melted. I'm just cleaning off my measuring cup here. And I'm going to fill this all with the water. You want your water to be about room temperature. And you're just literally going to pour it right in. And you're just going to fill up the jar all the way. 
Make sure you get all that sugar out of there. And that's it. So you're just going to grab your other piece of cheesecloth to cover that up. Put your rubber band. Don't seal the lid. You want to leave some air in there. And that's it. So now you're going to let this sit in um, a warm, dark area for about two days, two to three days, depending on the temperature. And then after two days, you're going to continue the process. You'll have your second fermentation already done. You'll be working on the next second fermentation and the next first fermentation. So it's like a cycle. You just keep making more, keep feeding the grains, keep making your beverage, and you'll definitely be a lot healthier.